This lesson is about graphing a system of inequalities. Just like a system of equations, a system of inequalities has two or more inequalities on the same coordinate plane. Piece of cake. So what's up with the shading in inequalities? Um, how and why? So how, remember you're choosing the half plane, so if it's greater than it's going to be above the line, if it's less than it's going to be below the line, and you can double check by choosing a point in one of the half planes and then um, testing it to see if it works. The why is because with inequalities, there's more than just one set solution. There are many, many solutions, more than just a simple line, because um, it's either greater than or it's less than. So you have to include all of those pairs. Okay, so let's try an example. Remember to pause when you need to, to take the notes. So we're going to graph each one on the same coordinate plane. So here's my system of inequalities. The first one says x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Now this is a one variable, so we can think like a number line, except we have to do it on a coordinate plane. So we have to go back to what we know about vertical and horizontal lines. So x equals negative 1. The x equals, remember, was a vertical line going through that point on the x-axis. So an x equals would be a straight line, vertical line, going through negative 1. It is a greater than or equal to, so we can do the solid line, right like this. Now this one, we can't use the trick because we don't know which one is above or below, so we have to choose a point, so I'm going to choose 0, 0, 0. So my x is 0, so 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. That is true. So I know that all of this over here is going to be shaded. Now if you have, um, if you're using Notability, you can shade nice because it has highlighters. I will use straight lines like this. Okay, going to the next one. Y is less than 2. So remember, a y equals 2 is a horizontal line that goes through the y-axis at 2. It is a less than, so it's going to be a dashed line right there. And I'm going to check to see. Um, it Now it is a horizontal, so it's less than. So I'm assuming it's going to be down below, but I'm going to just double check 0, 0. I'll plug 0 in, so 0 is less than 2. That makes a true statement. So it's going to be all of this down here. Now if that was the last equation, where they overlap right here would be the solution. But we have one more equation, this one right here, y is greater than x minus 2. And I believe this was the same one from yesterday. So we start at negative 2, and we go up 1, over 1, up 1, over one, down one, back one, down one, back one, until we can make our nice, and it's dashed because it doesn't include it. It was a greater than, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be above, but let's double check. Zero is greater than zero minus two. Zero is greater than negative two, so I know that it is going to be all of this on this side. Now, with colored pencils or highlighters, it's easier to see. Um, it's more difficult when we're using hash marks like I am. So I know that I'm going to have to look carefully. Here it's just the blue and the red. Here it was the blue and the purple. Here it was the red and the purple. The only place where all three overlap, so the solution is the area, that the, is a solution for them all, so where they overlap. So let me see if I can change my pen color. And where they all overlap is right here, this triangle. So be really careful when you are graphing to keep track of that overlap part. All right, let's do one more example. I think this one is easier because um, there's only two equations, neither of which are vertical or horizontal, and they're already in slope-intercept form, so this should be pretty easy. 
So the first one, y is less than or equal to 2x minus 3. Here's my y-intercept. So I'm going to come down here to negative 3, and I'm going to go, here's my slope. So I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, or down 2, back 1, down 2, back 1. And if you are doing paper copy of this, it might be a little simpler to draw the straight line with a ruler. I will try my best. It is going to be a solid line because it's a less than or equals to, equal to. So it's going to be about like that. Um, it is a less than, so again, I'm assuming it's going to be um, the points below. But we can double check that by plugging in zero. Zero is less than two times zero. minus 3. 0 is less than or equal to negative 3. That does not make a true statement, so we know that the half plane that includes 0, 0 is not going to be shaded. It's going to be all of this down here, just like we thought. It's below the line. So I'm going to grab my best thing I can do for a highlighter and shade down here. All right, now we'll graph our next equation. Here, it starts at 2, and my slope is negative 1. So I'm going to start at 2, and I'm going to go down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. It's a greater than, so it's going to be a dashed line. About like that again, please use a ruler if you can. All right, and because it's greater than, I think it is going to be above the line, but let's just double check. Zero is greater than negative zero plus two. Zero is greater than two, does not make a true statement. So I know that the point that includes, so the zero, zero, the half plane that includes zero, zero is not the solution. So it's going to be the other side. So I'm going to shade all of the side. And again, it's kind of hard to see, but you need to go back and make sure that you indicate somehow this is a solution where they overlap right there. 